I just got back from a yard sale this morning. I found this lock at the sale, and um, I give a dollar for it. It had a uh, key with it, and it shows to be a five-pin lock. Even though the key is uh, cut for five pins, I picked this lock once this morning, and I only found four pins in the lock. The lock does work properly, uh, but to compare it, you can see uh, the difference in the size of this lock and master lock. I believe this one does have uh, some security pins in it, uh, a serrated pins. Um, this master lock is called a 5UP, and um, when I picked it, I found five pins in it but only had to pick four of them. And I was wondering why, because the key only shows four pins. Well, I removed the base of this lock and pull the uh, core out of it, the plug, to uh, see why there's five pins in it. Well, they've got five pins in it. It's just like uh, the Brinks lock. I guess Brinks is taking this from uh, Master Lock. The fifth pin doesn't actually do anything. It uh, It's just there. Just like the Brinks lock I um, had a review on. It uh, is always at the shear line. So maybe it's a, uh, supposed to be an anti-pick uh, resistance on the lock but it's really no different than another master lock that just has four pins. This one does have uh, serrated security pins in it. So it is a little bit hard to pick sometimes. I've picked it several times and uh, it picks easy sometimes. Sometimes it picks a little hard. Uh, but this one I believe has security pins in it also. But like I say, I can only find four pins in the lock. Uh, this one is a little bit harder to do than that uh, master lock I believe. May not be. Okay, there it is open. So it's about like a master lock, even though it feels like it has uh, some security pins in it also. Um, you can hear them setting, but there's only four pins in this lock, even though it's got a five pin cut on it. Okay, stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Have a nice summer day, and thank you for your time.